What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Trey Love. You know what I'm saying? Back at it again with another video. Uh, today I got a tutorial for like Roddy Rich, uh, Lil TJ, Polo G type vocals. You know what I'm saying? So I'm finna play this shit, then we gonna get into the tutorial. This shit don't feel right. It gives me chills at night. I grip that still tight. In case he won't try. In case he won't want mine. That case he gon' die. I keep a full fry. I'm riding for mine. They playing both sides. They playing both sides. They playing both sides. They playing both sides. Both sides. Maybe they both sides, I don't know I don't even trust none of my own I hit the bitch once, then I'm gone They talking that shit, but ain't wanting no smoke When I'm in the city, I feel like the city Alright, shit, well So y'all get the gist of that Uh, Go ahead, and turn off my plugins real quick First things first, you know what I'm saying You always want to get your BPM and your key So, go ahead, drag the beat up in there Got 132, A sharp Major, so a sharp major. We're gonna open our little handy dandy little relative minor fucking picture. A sharp major, F sharp minor. I mean, excuse me, G minor. Wrong shit. So, got 132, got G minor. These are my auto tune settings. Um. This shit don't feel right. It gives me chills and I, I grip that. Just auto tune, um, input type, alt retainer, uh, about 85, you know what I'm saying, tracking. Don't really matter too much. Actually, it does kind of matter. The the more or the less, um, the more choosy it is, which is like the less auto tune, I think. So, all right, then we got retune speed. This is how much auto tune is actually going to be like in it, you know what I'm saying? Like, it might correct a lot of shit. It might, I don't know. I have my, my retune speed all the way up. If it sounds too much out of tune, just turn it down a little bit. Humanize 16, natural vibrato, negative 2.5. Here we go. Open up my Pro Q. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get into my deductive EQ. Um, you got a low cut around 78 hertz, then got a dip around 227, take out the nasally sounds, and beyond like 400 to fucking where this is at right here. Uh, just got, you know what I'm saying, sounds that are like ugly, so I'm gonna do a sweep, I'm gonna drag it all the way to the top see what sounds, you know what I'm saying, too harsh Still tight, in case he won't try, in case he won't want mine, that case he gon' die, I keep a full fry, I'm riding for mine So that's, that's pretty simple, got an additive EQ I got a, like a mid boost, and then I got a high boost um, basically the same thing, except you don't want it to have, except you don't want it to squeeze so much. You kind of want it to just be like a loose little band. Um, got a plus seven decibels, plus three. Um, and with this, all I'm all I'm doing when I'm listening for my sweep, I'm listening for the the sound to like be in the middle of my headphones, and and to also you know what I'm saying just like sound good too. This shit don't feel right. It gives me chills and I, I grip that still tight. In case he won't try, in case he won't want mine, that case he gon' die. I keep a full fry, I'm riding for mine. They playing both sides. Then um, got my compression in, a compression simple, you know, auto. Uh, Threshold. Um, when I'm when I'm doing my threshold, all I'm looking for is this shit don't feel right. It gives me chills and my bad. So when I'm doing my threshold, all I'm looking for is it to be in like the middle lowest peak type shit. So um, this shit don't feel right. It gives me chills and I I grip that still tight. And like right right through there, this little area about negative twenty four decibels. That's where I'm seeing it, so that's about where I'm gonna have my threshold at. Uh, my ratio is usually eight. You can do like four to six, eight. You know what I'm saying? You can do more. It depends. You just wanna see and listen um, how the vocals are sounding. Um, then I got the esser. These are my settings for my esser. Simple. I uh, do negative 32, negative 34, some shit like that. And you all good with that? Um, next, I added a delay. My delay track, 
turn my volume down, my dry volume. Uh, time eight. Cut. Uh, I usually don't have my cut right here, but it was actually sounding pretty nice. So this is where I have my cut for this uh, particular song. Uh, and then the feedback volume knob. About a third of the way. Um, and I got my volume, my actual volume knob, same place. Basically, my pan volume and the other volume are like the same shit. It's like going like that. This shit don't feel right. It gives me chills at night. I grip that still tight. In case he won't try. In case he won't want mine. That case he gon' die. I keep a full five. I'm right. Actually, that sounded pretty good without the reverb. I'm gonna go ahead and add the reverb in. Uh, this is what I got going on. If you guys got the Valhalla Vintage Verb, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and copy this. Uh, I would say copy these settings. Uh, this is a little, the decay and the pre delay, those are like, it matters, you know what I'm saying? You can't just copy that. But uh, to find out your pre delay, you're gonna do 60,000. Right about the BPM, so 132, got 45, I mean, uh, 454, divide that by four, got 113, you round it up, 114, 114 milliseconds, and then if you multiply that by four again, you get like the fucking original number you got the first time. That's what your decay is gonna be. Besides, you're gonna, you're not gonna put um, like 456, you're gonna put like four seconds and 56. You get or 4.56 seconds. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open my Freddy uh, Parametric EQ2. This is where I have my bands at. I got a low cut around 440. I cut around 9,000, you know what I'm saying? Just so. This shit don't feel right. It gives me chills and I grip that still tight. You see? I just turned my uh, the parametric EQ off. This is just the, the reverb by itself. Not by itself, it has the vocal in it, but obviously it's like the fucking reverb. This shit don't feel right. It gives me chills at night. I grip that still tight. In case he won't try. In case. So I added the, the parametric EQ back on. But as you can see, when you when I have it off, it's like very muddy and crazy and like uncontrolled. EQ basically just like controls that shit. So. Turn that back down. Uh, I let my my reverb sit around 40% for my main vocals, 40 to 45. Uh, sometimes I'll add a second reverb in just like to have the highs. I let that sit around like maybe 10, 15%, maybe less. On my ad libs, I'll do like 40%. Nah, I do about 50, about 50 to 60%. Uh, for my ad libs, then on the second one, I'll do like 60% too. So, you know what I'm saying? Got my ad libs hitting hard. Um, after that, um, I added these little reverse uh, reverbs. So, in order to get that, what I did was I just I made a little cut right here. So, I have, I have just this part right here. They play him. Like, they. they <laughs> Fuck. It says, well, what I'm saying is like they play in both sides, but I'm I'm having it where it's like they, and then I have like a little fucking like when I was recording, obviously like when you're rapping or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You have sounds in it. I have this little sound in it still, so I'm just gonna keep that. Uh, make unique as sample, just so it when you double click on it, it's just the part that you like you need. You don't have to go through searching and shit. Uh, right click, edit, alt left click. I mean, alt left arrow. Um, then you're gonna trim side noise, add the reverb, draw the way up, wet all the way up, except uh, alt click left. Zoom out a little bit, trim the noise. De click in, de click in, out. Excuse me, de click in, de click out. You're gonna drag it back in. Um, once again, you can do this for like the whole bar, like all of this. Um, it's just kind of tricky with the the way you want to have it come into it the placement so i usually try to keep it with the first like word of it 
you get sound like this it has like a like a rise type sound so i'm saying i got that going through on like the song i have i like a reverse reverb just because i use it as like sound you know what i'm saying a little spice up you know what i'm saying it's something to give it a little sauce type shit yeah, that's what we got Four months, they playing both sides they playing both sides they playing both sides they playing both sides both sides maybe they both sides i don't know i don't even trust none of my own i hit the bitch once then i'm gone they talking that shit but ain't wearing no smoke when i'm in this so yeah that's pretty much it man thank y'all for watching though um I got some shit that's coming soon. I gonna put all much shit on my tape. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be going through my tape actually and mixing it. So y'all stay tuned for that. Uh, my boy dropping a tape next month too. I'm gonna be having some tutorials on on how to mix. You know what I'm saying? Them kind of songs. But uh, yeah, other than that, stay tuned. Uh, go check out my music. 99. Watch the music videos. 99. Money counter. Big blues. Inside my mind. Y'all go run that shit up. Thank you. Uh, but it's your boy Trey Love and I'm out. Peace.